Well, it's a pleasure to be sharing with you from the scriptures again today. I'm just trying to read through the scriptures and to to explain and, and bring it down and take away that shred of mystery that sometimes can surround it. Um, thanks for joining me. Revelation 21, we're looking at a new Jerusalem. And it's so exciting because in the Lord Jesus Christ, we've got a great hope. A great hope. And picking it up now from verse um, number 16. It says, the city lies four square, length the same as the width, and, and he measured the city with his rod, 12,000 stadia, which is about 1,380 miles. Its length and width and height are equal. So it's not just a square, but it's like a cube, all right? And, and think about that, 14, almost 1,400 um, cubic miles. And it says, um, he also measured its wall, 144 cubits by human measurement, which is also an angel's measurement. That's about 216 feet wide were these walls. So these are, you know, quite wide, these walls here. And he goes on. The wall was built of jasper. Jasper. The city was of pure gold. Wow. Like clear glass. So pure that it looks like clear glass. Now, I don't know how he carried, so you're going to count in that. And the foundations of the wall of the city were adorned with every kind of jewel. First was jasper, second was sapphire, third agate, the fourth emerald, fifth onyx, the sixth carnelian, the seventh chrysolite, the eighth beryl, the ninth topaz, the, the tenth chrysoprase, the eleventh jacinth, the, the twelfth amethyst. So precious stones laying the foundation of this gorgeous, this beautiful, this magnificent city that God um, has as the bride for um, the Lamb. And the 12 gates were 12 pearls, pearly gates. So when you hear these songs, these old songs that talk about where the streets are pure gold, a city of gold, um, walls of jasper, the pearly gates, it's all taken from here. Each of the gates made of a single pearl and the street of the city was pure gold like transparent glass. Wow. This is so amazing this is so amazing and it tells us that of the kind of glory that we can look forward to um in the future you know a few decades ago if people were thinking about you know about four or five decades ago, and looking into the future and describing the future of mankind they would describe a utopia a utopia peace and prosperity food for everyone and and and, and things like that but in the last few decades Instead of utopia, we hear them describing a dystopia because where man is heading is like to chaos, to confusion, um, the climate crisis and there's so many things, you know. We're not heading to utopia, we're heading to a dystopia. But when we read into the scriptures, things will get worse before they get better. But they're not going to get better by mankind. They're going to get better by the intervention of Almighty God. And He's already told us what we can look forward to as the saints of God. So... The street of the city was pure gold, like transparent glass. And I saw no temple in the city. Oh, goodness. No, why? Wouldn't there be a place for us to go and worship? For it says, no, its temple is the Lord God, the Almighty, and the Lamb. God himself will be there. Wow. You don't need to go to a place, a synagogue, um, a, a temple, a place of worship to meet God. No. God himself will be there. Jesus will be there. I saw no temple. The temple is the Lord God, the Almighty, and the Lamb. Praise God. I think this is God's ultimate plan for us, that He will be with us, and we will be with Him. We're going to be together. We're going to be together to worship Him, to look upon His face, to be in His presence, where there's going to be peace and joy and love fulfillment for all eternity what a blessed day we can look forward to blessed be the name of jesus i'll meet with you again tomorrow god bless